further. I, I'm convinced he's going to show up someday and do a blog with a video camera inside his eyeballs. And uh, you know, the first time I met Steve was, uh, was probably four years ago, Steve. I was doing office hours uh, in a coffee shop in Jamaica Plain. I was sitting there with an aide. We had someone sitting in. I had this guy, I think, dressed similar to what he's dressed in today with a hat, waiting, hovering around me, waiting to talk. I said, oh, geez, I wonder what he wants to talk about. And then he comes and talks to me about blogs and websites. I had no idea what he was talking about. And I thought he was a Martian, to tell you the truth. And next thing you know, he did a demonstration, and he put it live on our website. He said, your website needs to work. And he says, I'm just the guy who can do it. This is the technology I have. This is four years ago. And uh, he, put, he recorded me, did a brief 30-second thing, and had it up on my website. I don't know how he got into my website, but he had it up there 30 seconds later, and we were sold. I remember coming back to my office and said, this guy does these blogs, and, uh, or, or blog, video blogs. And, and my office said, yeah, yeah, whatever. I said, no, you've got to meet him. And uh, the rest is history. I mean, it's just been unbelievable, the reach we get. And the beauty of this is you can just talk unfiltered. There's not a 30-second thing. There's no editor. You just talk off the stream of consciousness. You just talk off the top of your head, and you can be in any area you want to and highlight it for people and be visual and show people, and it's just it's amazing. The amount of response we get from people is just extraordinary. Well, let me ask you a question. Isn't there a risk in doing that? That, you know, if it's uncensored and unfiltered, you might say something that is embarrassing or that you might want edited out. I look at it this way. Every time you go to make an ATM deposit withdrawal, you're on camera. Everybody's on camera these days. The risk in being in politics starts the day you take all papers to run for office. So, uh, you know, those are... Those are the things you just have to put aside and uh, just be natural uh, in, in front of the camera. And just, I think people want elected officials who uh, they can relate to, they can have a beer with, and they can hang out and, and don't, don't talk differently on a commercial than they would to them in person or on a, on a video blog. So it's never been a concern for me, that's for sure. So you have groupies, a fan <laughs> No, I, no I, I'm, on, I'm on my video blog. My wife doesn't even watch them. Uh, but uh, no, I don't. I, you have people who contact you and, uh, and in all seriousness see a video blog or, uh, or some type of thing you saw on the website and it's, a, it's an issue that's of interest to them, whether it's childhood nutrition or an issue going on, going on in my district in West Rocks Beach, Jamaica Plain, something like the, with City Hall. Uh, and if you have a good idea, if you think it's a good idea, people, I get emails all the time that either agree with me or disagree with me. Uh, but the beauty is they're watching and they're listening. And it's, uh, and it's my message. I, can't, I can never say that I was taken out of context. Uh, these are my words, unfiltered, unedited, and I, I believe, Steve, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think we've ever edited one of these. It's just been from top to bottom what I've said in my words into the camera. I've never asked to splice anything or take anything out. And so it, one, one other thing, here, you do this and you can, you can use it and you can stream me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you pointed at me, right? All right, okay. And there you go. You're streaming now. But Great. you know what? I want to tell you one thing that like two elections ago, he had an opponent in the election. And what we did was, uh, running up to the election, we did like nine videos. So one video a day, nine days leading up, and an issue every day. So you went to Councilor Tobin's website, you got to see him, see what he thought about each issue, learn about him, kind of feel what he's like as a person. Go to the uh, opposition's website, and it was kind of just like text on there. And this was before everybody was into video. This was two campaigns ago. So that, I think, gave people who, like, it's close, come up to the election, you don't know who you're going to vote for, well, go to the uh, councillor's website and look at the competition and try and make a decision. If you went to Councillor Tobin's website, you get to see him and, and get to know him and see where he stands on the issues. And it was, I think that was a really great thing we did. So you think that this has helped him politically? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I do, yeah. Right, John? You Absolutely. I mean, people have an issue. They say, what about the, uh, the train tracks in Jamaica Plain? There's a big issue about uh, paving over the train tracks. They've been left there for 25 years as a public safety issue. And I people do it. People in my district who want to paved over, people who want the trolley to do a presentation stand there around a crater that's developed around the train tracks to talk about why we think it's a public safety issue, why, in my opinion, uh, they should be paved over. And they have been paved over. But we were able to stand there and get our message out. And it was unedited. We had some funny things happen during that thing. People walking by saying hello to you while you're there in real time. And uh, it's just natural, uh, trucks beeping and idling and holding up our production. But it just happens in, in real time. It's just natural, unedited, and unscripted. But I, but I want you to tell me, uh, I think people would be surprised to hear that this has helped you politically because it, I, I want you to kind of repeat that for, for me, for us. Uh, has this, has video blogging, the fact that you can kind of send this message out and play, has it helped you? Without question. And, and when Steve 
uh, I think it helps everybody. I think everybody should do it. And I said it four years ago, and uh, it wasn't meant to be prophetic, but it, it came out to be true, that people running for president just wouldn't be tolerated, uh, that they wouldn't be on a website, and you can interact with vote, voters. I mean, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton both announced their intention to run for president on the Internet. They didn't do it on television. They did it live on their website. It had people come to the site. So uh, I think that's, that's going to filter all the way down to municipal races and state races. Uh, people had it with the K Hawaii's and the tired can speeches, and they want people who are natural and, uh, and, and say what's on their minds. It definitely it, it hasn't hurt, that's for sure. It's helped uh, a lot. If it hurt, we wouldn't be doing it. Great.